When it comes to surviving a surgery, a Canadian study finds women are more likely to die if their surgeon is a man. The study's researchers say the healthcare profession needs to take a look at what's causing this disparity as women's lives are on the line. In particular, for patients uh, who are male, whether they had a male or female surgeon didn't really change their outcomes. But among female patients, we found that those treated by male surgeons did significantly worse than those who were treated by uh, female surgeons. The study shows that when a male surgeon operated on a female patient compared with a female surgeon, there was a 32% increase in the likelihood of the patient's death in the 30 days following the procedure. There was also a 15% increase in the likelihood of a woman experiencing adverse outcomes when a male performed the surgery. Dr. Christopher Wallace is the study's main author. We're seeing actual mortality rates of 1% or 2% here. And so a 32% increase on a 1% mortality is now 1.3% mortality. So overall, the picture, I think, is that surgery in Ontario is safe. He adds it's still worrisome. The study looks at 1.3 million adult patients in Ontario between 2007 to 2019. It analyzes patients for 21 types of planned and elective surgeries. While the researchers didn't look at why the disparities are happening, study co-author Dr. Angela Jarrett says it does raise a few questions, mainly in the pre- and post-operative counseling process. After surgery, picking up those complications early is vital to avoiding deaths, to avoiding readmissions. So is there a difference in how people pick those up? Are men and women different in how they manage their teams, communicate with the wider team, involving other people when it's important, listening to the patient that something is changing here that's relevant? Those are the kinds of things we really need to explore. A trained urologist, Wallace says the study is a learning lesson for him. As a male surgeon, I uh, am a little more thoughtful, I would say. Not that I was reckless beforehand, but just that, you know, I think this has prompted me to think about the ways in which humans communicate. And I think, you know, men and women do communicate differently. <laughs> Jared says currently there are nearly 3,000 surgeons in Ontario. Only 18% of them are women. Their hope is to attract more women to the profession. Patients want to see themselves reflected across the table. They want to see someone that looks like themselves, be it a sex or gender um, a process. It may be race. It may be values. Both study authors say female patients shouldn't worry if their surgeon is a man. But what's really important is they should be able to speak with and have a good trusting relationship with their physician. For City News, I'm Leah Sheikh.